So as we see that there are LED street lights up there, they are up and running for almost two and a half years now. So each luminaire has inside small electronic device, which one has a wireless communication um, and processor, which is able to, uh, able to control uh, the luminaire operation. It can switch it on and off and it can adjust the brightness. And this is specific for, for LED that you can very flexibly uh, adjust the brightness of, of street lights. And, and, and basically, uh, idea is that uh, you can dim down the lighting levels uh, for off-peak time, so you can save energy. Uh, with just replacing street lights, uh, conventional street lights with LED, you, can say, you save around 40% of electricity. If you dim them down for, uh, for quiet night time to some maybe 30%, uh, the savings are increased to some 80-85% even in certain cases. So there is quite a lot of savings can be achieved. I used to have a very strong opinion towards light and the yellow light was really what was symbolizing coziness. But I don't assess it that way any longer. I'm definitely getting more and more accustomed to the LED light. And the LED light is, um, is also spoiling me in a way. So when I walk into this, this small pathway here where you have the very yellow light, I cannot see anything. I cannot see what the time is if my telephone. Yeah, it, it is an interesting experience because uh, Probably I have already used such uh, streets not knowing that there is a new uh, light installation. For me, it is not a question of uh, security, but uh, uh, a question, do I feel the light and the, the, the lamp itself comfortable or not? For me, it was 40%, which is uh, acceptable, which is uh, you have enough lightning and it's bright enough and it is not uh, so much affecting your eyes. So you, you should be very much aware uh, how people will perceive the new lamps and this, uh, this brightness. This is my message. Okay, thanks. So my first impression was that the light difference uh, in intensity between 20 and 100%, you, you hardly notice it. It's uh, uh, um, well, you don't see it so much from a distance, but I think when you walk over the pavement, a little bit under the trees, you, with 20%, it, it takes some time before you see someone coming and you, you don't notice their faces. And I think it's very important that you can see someone else's face. And I think that's a bit better when the intensity is a little bit um, higher. So. Um, uh, actually, I thought 20% uh, light intensity is a little bit too low and it's probably better to do 40 or 60%. Käes olevalt on näha dünaamilise juhtimise põhimõttel töötavad tänavalgust juhtimissüsteemi ja tegu on Eestis suhtsult ainulaadse näidis lõiguga, kõrd siia maa on enamasti siis rakendatud staatilise juhtimise põhimõttel töötavad tänavalgustust. Ja antud lõik konkreetselt on siis Tartus väike turu tänaval. See on Eestis üks esimesi sellised lõikusid. Tänaseks on ta üleval olnud üle kolme kuu. Ja tulemused on lubavad. Et kui me vaatame näiteks energiase astu, andmeid siis suur järkme kuskil esimese kolme kuu jooksul 49% kokkuhoidu täiendavalt tänu siis sellele samal dünaamilisele juhtimisele. Ja dünaamilise juhtimise lahendusel on siis kolm peamist eelist. Et esiteks on see, et valgustus on tagatud reaalselt sellel hetkel, kui liikume toimub. Teine selline oluline eelis on see, et selle tulemus on vähendama oluliselt valgusreostust. Ühtlasi hoiame kokku märkimisväärselt energiat. Kolmas oluline argument on see, et kui on dünaamiline valgusjuhtimine tugineb siis liikumissensoritel, siis tegelikult see sensor ise on ka tuleviku Targalinna lahendustes sellisel keskel kohal ja seetõttu ka selline oluline eelis.